Coming up on TV Diners, we'll meet the talented chef owner of Rovers in Seattle, this year's James Beard Award nominee for Best Regional Chef. We'll go on a culinary tour of the Mediterranean at Marina's in Memphis, and we'll see what's cooking at the Moosewood, the country's premier vegetarian restaurant. Welcome to TV Diners. I'm Nina Griscom. And I'm Alan Richmond. At Rovers, we've discovered one of the most romantic restaurants in Seattle. Its courtyard setting, its cozy ambiance are matched by a Franco-American menu that's way out of the ordinary. Instead of the usual chicken, beef, pasta, Chef Terry Rotero concentrates on wild game and unusual seafood dishes that are guaranteed to turn any night into a special occasion. This is supposed to be, according to many people, including Zagat, one of the, probably the best restaurant in Seattle. Right. Uh, now, I'm waiting for Seattle to happen. People think Seattle has already happened. I was just going to say, some people would dispute I, that. Yeah, I don't think it's happened yet. I mean, it's happened, but you're waiting, it, waiting for it to come up to the next notch. That's right. That's right. right. Absolutely correctly. I mean, it has the best raw ingredients, including wines, of any area in the country. I mean, I even point. think it's better than California. And it has... Wow, a, that's a top state. Well, the, the potential <laughs> I'm talking about, and it has potential. wonderful 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 uh, markets wonderful seafood wonderful wild products growing in the you know it's all those forests there, there's yeah. truffles there everything you possibly want is there but the cooking is yet to come to the highest level now the last time i was in seattle last year um i try i did not try rovers it was closed the two days i was there ah oh, too bad so I, I understand that's really the top spot in town we hear it's the best so we'll have a look rovers in seattle washington Tucked inside this turn-of-the-century courtyard is one of Seattle's most romantic dining rooms. At Rover's, the flowers are always fresh, the wine chilled, and the stage set for the perfect rendezvous. Owner and chef Terry Rotero has a Frenchman's flair for food, romance, and the charm of the unexpected. We try to make it a special evening for couples to come here. <clears throat> and we try to make it so that they don't eat just you know, an everyday kind of food. And so Chef Rotoro's menu eschews chicken, beef, and other conventional meats in favor of the exotic. Seafood, vegetable, and wild game dishes like partridge and venison take center stage in his kitchen, which offers some of Seattle's best French cooking using fresh Northwestern ingredients. The chef's creative experiments are legendary. You'll know if it's right if you can eat it yourself. If you can eat it, it should be okay. <laughs> Today, everyone is eating the smoked salmon and goat cheese terrine, garnished with marinated beet salad and a balsamic vinegar infusion, and the delicate stuffed zucchini blossom, enhanced with tomato puree and roasted red and yellow bell peppers. Here, medallions of Alaskan Copper River salmon are grilled and served with a fresh pea sauce and black summer truffle shavings. And a succulent breast of guinea fowl is paired with an apple rhubarb sauce and a rich slab of foie gras. Desserts are no less extraordinary. Choose from the bittersweet dark chocolate tart with a vanilla poached pear and orange caramel ice cream. Or a fresh fruit compote swimming in rhubarb soup and topped with a refreshing muscat cheese sorbet. Many Seattleites share the chef's adventurous palate, and luminaries like Bill Gates, Oliver Stone, and Peter Gabriel have made rovers into Seattle's most discreet hideaway for the rich and famous. Even with all this attention, the ambience at Rovers has remained cozy, intimate, and sophisticated. The work of local artists lends the room northwestern color, and the artistry of the chef adds a French accent to the festivities. The customer, we give them a lot of care, and we also give the food a tremendous amount of care as well. With all this TLC, there's nothing left to do but sit back and enjoy the romance. Well, I think we have to face the fact that this is in many ways a French restaurant. He doesn't want to well, say Well, it. it's certainly a French tech. He's French. He studied in France. Yeah. His technique is French. But you've got all those wonderful Northwestern ingredients there. But he likes, <clears throat> he likes guinea fowl. He likes, well, balsamic vinegar is Italian. Especially his fish, though. Right, especially his fish, which is very yeah. good. He loves foie gras and consommés. Yes. Who really? doesn't? No, he doesn't <laughs> like these things. Uh, so I think what you're having here is this, um, this, you know, this immersion of the local ingredients, which is the best way to cook with the classic right. techniques. Yeah. And I don't think you see too much of this at at what I think is his level in Seattle yet. You're absolutely right. You can tell that even without having tasted the food, you can look at the way the plates are presented, and that yeah. tells a story right there. Yeah, and, the, and the, the whole level in Seattle, I think, of the professionalism hasn't caught on yet. I went, I don't want to say where it was, but I went on a Sunday night to a very famous restaurant in Seattle last year. I was in a hotel, and the chef wasn't there on a Sunday night. Yeah. It was such a laughably bad meal that I... I mean, it was, I, was, I was laughing with the staff as this terrible food came out. But the point being, when the chef was there, he could cook, 
when the chef wasn't there, right. nobody knew Things what they were apart. doing. And so you're really talking about the running of a restaurant right. that hasn't been brought up to speed. But I think everything isn't quite up to speed yet in Seattle, except, again, there's magnificent raw ingredients are there. But I know Absolutely I'll get in trouble right. with people who are You're in big trouble already, so yes. why, why not have a little more? Wines are great also. Look, well, the Pinots are good. Oh, terrific. well, the Pinot, you know, they're very lucky there. When you, when you go to Seattle and you, you, know, you eat in Washington, you can just order Pinot Noir with almost anything. Absolutely. The local Pinot Noirs will match Even almost fish. any food. Absolutely with yeah. fish, because they're so berry and they have a little lightness to That's it, and they right. have lots of acidity, and they're very good. He has a nice wine list. I mean, it's just an all-around good menu, I think. Oh. He's hosted most of the world's great chefs here, as a matter of fact, who over the years have become friends and admire his work. Absolutely. So if the great chefs can go there, you can go there. Rovers is at 2808 East Madison in Seattle. It's 206-325-7442. Major credit cards are accepted. Closed Sundays and Mondays when I was there. Average meal price is $42, and the chef's choices are the warm wild mushroom and barley salad with a balsamic vinegar sauce, the Alaskan sea scallops and Penn Cove mussels. They like to name everything from where they're gathered. So these were gathered at Penn Cove with braised leeks and sea urchin sauce and a berry soup with strawberry mint sorbet and summer berries. You didn't tell me where the berries came from. <laughs> Up next, the Mediterranean comes to Memphis at Morena's.